Hi, I'm Cynthia Kahn, founder of Amuse Now, and I'm here today with recording artist Wayne D from Come Get It Records. Hey, Wayne. How are you doing, Cynthia? I'm doing fabulous. Congratulations for winning our Reverb Nation contest. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. I can't sit still when I listen to your music. I just well, want you to. <laughs> I just want you to know that I listen to all your songs on Reverb Nation, and I think Fire and Rain is my fave because it mixes the singing with the hip-hop. Correct. Thank you. Thank you. So for those who aren't familiar with your music, how would you describe it? Well, for those who don't know me too well, or for those who do know me well, my music is pretty much simple. It simplifies of... Uh, uh, just things that are going on in everybody's character within themselves, no matter who they are. You know, music's a strong point of view. Music is a strong passion for anybody to just uh, to get anything out of them that they have maybe bottled up inside or whatever it may be. You know, but uh, for those out there, they can feel free to Google "Come Get It Records." We're everywhere, most definitely. Terrific. So. You have a lot of musical influences. Who are they? Oh, I don't know where to start, but uh, oh, you know what? Impressions. Curtis Mayfield, um, the Drifters, the Platters, uh, the OJs, Shy Lights, Bad Company, uh, you know, even Sugar Hill Gang. You know, I've had a lot of uh, good upbringing, at least on the music aspect, you know, anybody from Journey to um, Temptations, you know, those are those are very strong point, focal points in music, even in today's society, you know, those were my inspirations in music, most definitely. No wonder you have such a unique sound, it's a, it's a wide variety, quite eclectic a little bit too. Why, thank you. So, you also have a record company, so you must have a pretty strong musical background. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Well, um, I guess my musical background comes a lot um, just from experiences. Uh, you know, like I mentioned earlier, when a lot of people, a lot of artists out there who sing, write, uh, rap, play any type of instrument, you know, what they're doing is they're releasing a lot of stuff they have inside, whether it's good energy, bad energy, you know, it doesn't matter. Um, but, you know, when, when you release that, you know, it, it's, it's, you know, music changes the world, you know, hey, if the world, if me and you were right here right now and a bomb were to drop and, and uh, you know, hopefully not, but if a bomb were to drop and nothing was left and there was a couple people left and no instruments, I guarantee you, someone's going to pick up some type of stick and we're going to do something to entertain ourselves. You know, so so music is a is an influence in my life as as a kid. You know, getting away from uh, the streets that I might have grew up in and stuff like that. It was a, it was I don't want to say it was an easy way of escaping, but it was a way of is, is escaping and listening to things that might pertain in in your life and what you go through. So that's that's where that comes from. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. Thank you. So as an artist and a producer of other artists, what skill sets do you look for when you collaborate with other artists? Uh, I like to say some people like hamburger, some people like ribeye. I prefer a ribeye. Uh, <laughs> so, so, you know, it's quality, you know, it's quality, it's presentation. Uh, a lot of people in the music industry seem to get uh, the notion that they're going to make it overnight, especially a lot of uh, hip-hop artists uh, out there in today's uh, genre of music. They think that, uh, you know, things happen overnight and they don't. You get in what you put in. You put in nothing, you get nothing back. It's just as simple as that. And, uh, you know, what I look for in any type of artist, whether it's bluegrass, uh, country music, um, jazz, 
folk, it doesn't matter. It has to be real. It has to come in. It, music has to come from your heart because if it doesn't, then you're not going to be able to reach nobody. The same people that you might have listened to music from growing up saying, hey, you know what? I like them. And the reason why I do like them is because I can relate to what they're saying. Now, once that gets lost in the music, then there's no music left. You have what you have now. They're fly-by-nights. They're here today, gone tomorrow. So when I look for an artist, they have to have a, a full package. What I mean by full package, they got to have a stage presence. They got to be able to entertain. They got to be able to interact. And they almost ha definitely have to have a positive energy. And they got to be able to have a perfected talent and a perfected skill versus, uh, you know, I, I want an artist that's already talented. I don't want to have to mold an artist, you know, because molding these days don't work in a society. So, you know, but that, you know, that's what I look for in an artist. They, it, you know, it's just like if someone were to go get something to eat, you know, the presentation looks great, but the food might taste like crap, you know. So I like to have it all. I want the plate. I want the presentation. I want the taste. And I want to walk away with a full stomach. Yeah. So that's that's what I look in the artist, you know. So tell me, it sounds like you produce more than just hip hop artists. I, 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 you know, my label is Come Get It Records. It speaks for itself. If you got the talent and you're good, I'm always willing to take the ear and time to listen. And it speaks for itself. It's Come Get It. You never know unless you come get it. You know, um, I like to bring the people out there that are tuned in and uh, listening, and that is the million dollar factor. And the million dollar factor is this if you have a party at your house and you have a million dollars underneath your couch, all cash, and you decide to have a party, you invite 100 people over, no one knows about the money that's underneath the couch because you don't say nothing and you decide to get drunk or whatever you do and you pass out, well, 99.9% .9 of the time when you wake up the next morning, that money is going to be underneath that couch. Now, if you take that same concept and use it for the following week and tell everybody that you got a million dollars underneath the couch, chances are you're going to have some goons come in and they're going to take your money. They're going to come in there and they're going to take that million underneath the couch. My point is this. How are you going to know if you don't tell nobody? Treat your music and your art, your craft, your performance like that million dollars underneath the couch and have them kick down your door and come get you. I get it. <laughs> in other words, you never, you know, how is anybody going to know if you don't tell them? I don't know about you, but I'm going to treat it like that million dollars underneath the couch. And I'm going to let everybody know because I want everybody to come rob me. Come get it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that leads me to the next question, which is obviously you're putting yourself out there. How do you use your website and your social media accounts to spread the word and tell them you have a million dollars? That's how it's supposed to work, and that's how it should work. You know, um, you know, with, with social media these days, uh, you know, the whole music industry is taking a whole different turn. Um, you know, everything is done online. It's it, it's kind of rare that you find too not too many record stores, mom and pop stores. You, you know, you don't find those no more. And I give it maybe 10, 15 years. CDs will be obsolete. Period. You know, so you know when it comes to social media, anybody that's out there listening that wants to get into it this type of entertainment, I suggest you always have the social media, every part of social media, whether it be Tumblr, Twitter, uh, Instagram, Facebook, um, it, it doesn't matter, you know, and now they're doing other sites. They're not doing dot-coms no more for anybody that's out there who's not hip to the game. If you're hip to the game, you know what I'm talking about. They're not doing dot-coms no more. So you can actually, actually have something like a dot-con. You could have a Cynthia dot-con. You know, so, you know, I guess it all it all depends on how you want to market yourself. Once again, million dollar factor, you know, it all depends on how you want to get out there and see. Simple as that. So, I mean, for people out there, 
you know, they can always look me up on my social sites. You guys can find me on uh, uh, Twitter, Wayne D C E O. Find me at Facebook. Just Google Come Get It Records. That's the best way I can say it. It's just Google Come Get It Records. One word. That's not spelt any different, you know. And uh, you'll find everything you need to know about what we do and uh, how we approach things and the music that we do. Terrific. So now that you've won the Amuse Now Reverb Nation contest, the doors are even open wider. <laughs> Definitely. I love it. <laughs> You know, we're also, we've uh, been number one four weeks in a row going, going four weeks in a row now. And that's that, that's very, very inspiring. So keeps yeah. it happening and yeah. the motivation all good. So most definitely. So tell us, what's next for Wayne D. CEO and Come Get It Records? Well, what's next for us is we have quite a few things lined up. Uh, we have one artist. Actually, an artist that I'm working with, not only an artist, but a very good friend. Uh, for anybody that hasn't heard his music, I'd suggest you check him out. That's Carl B. Um, Carl B is phenomenal. Uh, phenomenal is not even the word. Um, you know, especially when it comes into the hip hop game, you have a lot of negative energy and a negative attention that's spilt out on hip hop when, you know, hey, it, it shouldn't be that way. Carl B. brings a whole other standard to the game, you know. We, uh, the best way I can describe Carl B. Uh, for producers and engineers that are out there that are really deep into the music, one word, the Phil Collins of rap. Literally. <laughs> literally the Phil Collins of rap. So we're working with him and doing some things together. We're also working with, um, uh, we're doing on a American Grinder Part 2. For anybody that doesn't, uh, hasn't heard the first album, feel free to go to www.comegetitrecords.com and it takes you directly to the iTunes of American Grinder. Um, so we have a lot of different stuff coming up. Uh, you know, I'm really picky of who I choose to deal with in the record label and in the music business and in the industry. We've worked with quite a few people, great people. Shouts out to uh, Scott Kateris from Goo Productions. You know, uh, he was Dr. Dre's engineer for years. He was my mentor. Um, you know, great guy. He's recorded the best. Anybody from uh, Busta Rhymes to Jay-Z to uh, he was the last person to record Tupac Session. You know, uh, so shouts out to Goop Productions. You guys look at him. Um, you guys want to get your music heard on movies or anything like that, definitely check him out, Princess Blue Publishing. Um, but, uh, you know, just... We're working with a lot of different people. Uh, shouts out to Red Rum, um, 781 out there in L.A. Uh, shouts out to D. La Rock out there in uh, Washington. All our fans in London, Australia, just all around the world. We got new music that wants to, we want to inspire what music has been missing. You know, music today has been missing a lot of inspirational, motivating, uh, uh, self-taught within uh, you know, in music, just as simple as that. And we all know as kids, that's all we do is listen to music. So, you know, it's a big inspiration to the kids. You got to make it right. That's our next move. So, I could talk for hours. <laughs> well, Wayne D, CEO, it's been terrific getting to know you today. Maybe you should send Carl B my way or, you know, send. Ask me and I'll send you some information. Maybe we can work out a featured artist interview for Carl. Most definitely. And I hope that when we launch our e-commerce site, you will consider adding Amuse Now to come and get it records. Most Music. definitely. Well, I wish you all good things and have a wonderful evening. Thank you. You have a blessed evening, Cynthia. Thank you for your time. Thank you for Amused now.com. I appreciate it. And remember, everybody out there, you never know unless you come get it. Stay motivated. Positive energy always brings the best out of somebody in a great day. Thank you, Cynthia. I love you guys. Take care. Have a blessed day. Hi, I'm Cynthia Khan, founder of Amuse Now. This featured artist presentation has been brought to you by Amuse Now Entertainment, a website that enables artists to profit from their creativity. 
To learn more about Amuse Now, visit us at www.amusednow.com or email me at ccon at amusenow.com.